Well, welcome to another edition of In the Pocket. All thanks to Palmer Bet, of course. And uh, well, Spide, oh, very, don't. very good afternoon to you, big fella. There is the elephant in the room that I think we need to get out in the open. Uh, I think you need to get off oh, your nice and early. Yeah. Mate. Uh, one from eight last week, big fella. Oh, I know. I know. I'm getting it in my building. We do a tipping comp in the building, and I'm sitting on the bottom. And I said, don't worry. And there's a guy ahead of me called Crapper. And I said, mate, that should be my name, but I'll, I'll beat you. But, uh, yeah, tough, tough round. When, and we'll go through them a little later on. But when you start to look at, um, you know, teams, the average losing margin at the moment was 40 points over the weekend. So we look at the lines and, yeah, I just, uh, you know, you go through all the games, it's just disappointing. And the one that I suppose got me that no one ever thought would, I, you know, I got the Cats against the Lions. Yeah. You know? with, with that, so, and probably the outsiders too against uh, the Brisbane Lions. And, yeah. Uh, it was to come, mate. You took uh, the Fremantle Dockers for the very first time in season 2024. Oh. Uh, and uh, well, and got you, mate. So there's more have been a little bit of poetic justice, uh, big fella. Oh, no, Justin, he's given me a ro- ring the coach and he said, look, can you get back off us? You can get back <laughs> off us. We only win when you bag us out. So, uh, no, look, it's uh, – yeah, look – I think, and I know that uh, you do the NRL as well, but what two codes at the moment? Like you just, uh, they're just fantastic. Both of them at great the comp. moment you look and great comps. And, you know, there's no top three or four teams and, you know, outside of, you know, probably the bottom two, three, uh, it's just a fantastic competition where every week you've got to be absolutely on your game. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Spide. Hey, listen, just quickly, local footy here, the Hamden Football Netball League. Um, Nathan Vardy coached the North Hornival Eagles, uh, and his good friend Stevie Motlop come and played on the weekend. We stat every game now down here, Spide. Uh, yeah. Motlop's had 50, 40 kicks, 10 what? balls. Kicking, kicking efficiency at 88% too on the weekend. Uh, that is a fair debut game, big fella. Oh, it goes to show, does it? Yeah. Yeah, I know we talk AFL. Of course, it's at the top of the tree, but gee, it's, it is miles above when you get you know, your motlops getting fifty. Like it just goes to show that level what you need that level that you need to be at to be an absolute superstar. So, oh, that is fantastic. Is um, has Nathan Vardy still got the uh, the SM the the scan on his uh, ankle. Still got the scan. Doesn't work, mate. The uh, the tattoos doesn't moved work so slightly. It worked for about six weeks. The big fella, but oh. it's moved. Uh, very and for those punters, for those punters that didn't know, he actually got a uh, QR code of a, a goal that he was in, in, associated with in the grand final with the Eagles. About two thousand and nineteen or two thousand and eighteen grand final. Uh, he was the last play. Went from end to end, and, yeah. uh, and they got the job done. Uh, Mickey Barlow playing for the North Hornwell Eagles too. He had forty two a uh, couple of weeks ago. So they got some A graders. Uh, the old Eagles three X oh. NFL boys running around. Not every week. Yeah. So Motlop's only going to play a handful of games. I think so. Same with with Mickey Barlow. That's all they can do. That's all they need to do down the bull, down the great part of Victoria. Hey, <laughs> along that great ocean road. Mate, we might even see you next week, uh, race week, big fella. As you, you never know. Fiftieth <laughs> birthday, big fella. Um, yes, with a couple of wins. We, <laughs> geez, I hope so. Uh, we might even get you for a guest appearance uh, for the North Florida Eagles the following week. And that's what that's what hurts me most is I know I got one out of eight for my punting, but um, on the horses. You know, get the quaker over past, never going to miss. It was bang. It was a- <laughs> We've got a bit of a local connection there too. We've got a uh, a fellow, a local fellow that's uh, involved in the ownership of overpass. So he's pumped. And the Cowboys from Perth, they're making their way over here to the ball next week. So I'm looking forward to catching up with them as well, which is going to be sensational. Hey, let's have a look at the good, the bad, yep. the ugly uh, for last round. The good, obviously the Blues. They look the real deal. Got a few injuries. Come from behind victory against a really good team in the Giants, mate. Oh, look, I was watching that game and, you know, even at half time, you're thinking you don't know really which way it's going to go. And then, you know, that that five or 10 minutes when it goes, Kerno, okay, Kerno, Kai, whatever you want to say, Kerno, like they kick five or six goals in split seconds. But, you know, I've been, I was a bit critical of Patrick Cripps a couple of weeks ago and thought, you know what, didn't know if he really led the team well. Gee, he was fantastic. On the weekend, you saw why he's an absolute superstar. Yeah, he carved them up. And, uh, you know, the Blues, I think now you can generally say they are the real deal. They are absolutely. We, you know, They aren't just relying on their two key players. And, yep, of course, we know what the, the two big keys are going to do. But they are – and 
Gee, don't we hear it from the Carlton supporters? Don't they love it? Like they are, they are on chirpy, chirpy, chirp time. They <laughs> absolutely up and about. But they know as much as we know that this could all go in a heap very, very quickly. So it's like they're still walking on eggshells. Yeah, absolutely. The bad uh, spite, Brisbane, oh. fire, fire again. I'm going to give them a pass, Mark, the Lions, because the weather conditions were ordinary, to be honest. And I just reckon in a game like that, it ebbed and flowed. You know, Cat's got a bit of a run on, got a couple of goals ahead, and it's hard to pull back. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a question mark for mine. Yeah, I would too. I think it was just ugly footy. We knew we they were getting a massive rain belt. Uh, in southeast Queensland, yeah, they closed all the ovals, so not even yeah. a lot of the local footy didn't go ahead. They still continued on, of course, with the AFL. But when it's conditions like that, and you just it's yeah, it's a no win. You've just you just got to cop it, play it out, and see how you go from there. So yeah, I'm with you. I wouldn't be too disappointed if I was a Lions fan. Yeah, I want the four points, but at the Cats, right under the Cats, are able to uh, you know get another win. You know, whoever thought Cats would be sitting where they are right now. Yeah, I, I definitely was one. Put my hand up. I didn't think they would be. Norton three at home. We were talking about this before the season. Remember those, uh, I think it was $13 yeah. bucks or something Ten, to go under. $10. 10 to 1. Um, we're, we're looking like uh, absolute uh, spuds at the moment, to be honest. Hey, talking Should about, have taken it the other way. Talking about <laughs> 10 to spuds, 1 to win one. <laughs> oh, it would have been about 100. It would have been 1,000 to 1. Talking about the ugly, uh, mate, your Saints at the moment. Oh. Um, oh, it, it didn't didn't start well for you last Thursday, let's be honest, and uh, it nah. didn't much better throughout the weekend. But uh, I, I'm a little bit the same. Ross Lyon came out, a couple of five-day backups. Um, so I think there's a little bit in that for mine, and, that, and that's obviously their mindset. I actually reckon the Saints are still going to come good back half of the year and string some wins together, Spide. Yeah, look, I think um, you know they're they're a good enough team. They've got enough ability there. They've you know they've got a really good side. You know, definitely you need King. You know, King really does straighten yeah. them up. A couple of young kids down uh, down the fall. Remember, he did as much as he can, but he's normally your T two. Yep. You know, your hybrid forward. So yeah, for me, that's what really hurt them as well. But saying that, you cannot take anything away from the Western Bulldogs. The way they lit up the the game on Thursday night was unbelievable. If it wasn't Norton who end up kicking six and Waitman and just and you know this is out liver as well. So we always thought, you know, this is going to be a, a tough story for him. You know, ever since the Bulldogs have had uh you know got absolutely polarized through the media, they've had bounce back and that you know you sit there now and say, you know what, the Bulldogs are a genuine eight chance. Yeah. Absolutely on the back of the wins they've had the last couple of weeks. But yeah, really flat, disappointed for the Saints and uh yeah, they do need to bounce back. They need to start winning games. You need early wins. Yeah, it takes that little bit of pressure off, doesn't it? Hey, Spy, when you have a one for mate tipping week, um, your best oh. bets aren't going to go very well either, mate. And unfortunately, none for three with your best. And uh, that was the underdogs, the top dogs, which is Port Adelaide, Gold Coast, North Melbourne, all to win. Uh, underdogs, the top dogs at the line, not to three as well, mate. You, you've had a bad weekend. Yeah, I've had a shocker. Saints, not sinners. We got a little bit of uh, a little bit there. Seb Ross did get the twenty plus, but you missed on uh, the other three legs as well. Well, Caminiti's he, he kicked one one. Uh, yeah. Owens kicked one goal. If the Saints are actually, if the score was the different the other way around, which is quite easy to say, didn't happen. <laughs> I would have got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I went the other way around, but I didn't go enough. Yeah, to, I went the, the shorter margin. One to thirty nine Bulldogs. They've won by what forty something. Sixty. 60 in it. Gee, was yeah, it? 60 points in the end. Uh, Eugle Hagen pulled out. Obviously, so when we recorded this yeah. last week, he was still in the game. So that was voided. Cody Waitman kicked three in the first quarter. He got his two plus. Bonham Pally had 20 plus. Uh, nice to late 62 there, but I just was uh, was one off the mark. So uh, wow. it's a pass mark for me, big you weren't You weren't greedy enough. I wasn't. You, I wasn't. Yeah, you, exactly. you should have been a little bit more greedier on the dogs. It would have been good odds to get uh, 30 Oh, yeah. Bucks. That would have been a huge value. Hey, let's go back and have a look at our top eight predictions. Um, so your yep. top eight spot, you had uh, Collingwood Brisbane, uh, who are currently sitting 10th and 12th. Uh, they're probably shaky, but not shaky in my eyes. I, I, they'll definitely, when the whips are cracking, they'll be in there. Yep. Giants, you've got big tick. Sydney, a big tick. Port Adelaide, a big tick. Adelaide, a big crossy, currently sitting in 15th. Hard to see them resurrecting their year. Melbourne, a big tick. And St Kilda, a little bit the same as Adelaide. They've got yeah. to bring in some wins together in this middle half. Well, yeah, well, I think Collingwood will get there. Uh, Brisbane, you'd think, would get there as well. 
Um, and then, yeah, Adelaide and Secure year two. But Secure and Adelaide were always going to are always going to be that seventh, eighth team. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You know, that's what we thought. So there's going to be about four or five teams around that money. If you can get six out of the eight, you're in the money. I still believe the Saints, like Adelaide's just got to get a run on. They got a run on last year yeah. and really turned it on. They they are slowly starting to press. Yeah. A lot of people are probably underestimating Essendon at the moment because, you know, the Bombers are getting some scalps and they're getting some real late wins and really close wins. So, yeah, look, still – a little bit early. We'll wait another five or six rounds, and halfway through the year, we'll have a look. But yeah, Adelaide and the Saints, come on, surely they can have a few more wins. Well, I'm not underestimating the Bombers. Uh, I had them in my top eight. You laughed at me, Spot. You, uh, I have you me off the show. You also had Richmond. Yeah, I know, and that was that. That was probably <laughs> the one where I just thought, with the heart, not the head. Um, yeah. That's the one I can't get back. We ain't gonna nah. be playing finals. If there was a team spy that I'd uh, I'd chuck in, it'd probably be the Power or Gold Coast. With my A, mate, that they're, they're the two that I'd be. Talking yeah, I think about. I think you'd go Power before Gold Coast. Yeah, at the moment, um, you know, even the Gold okay. Coast getting smashed by Sydney. They got a lot of young kids, and we know, you know, they're probably playing half a dozen young kids who have only played two or three games of footy. By the time you get to the hard and the guts of round 16, 17, 18, the slog of AFL, you yeah. need those, you know, those, those players that have played 100, 150 games because that's when they continue to, you know, pump out the case. Yeah, right. Uh, let's have a look at this weekend's round of All right. big fella. And uh, this is where we redeem ourselves, mate. Richmond taking on Melbourne. It is uh, Anzac Eve. Uh, and this has become tradition. 725 at the MCG. Fantastic atmosphere. Uh, two really, really good, brilliant Melbourne clubs. Head to head, the Tigers, $4.65 Melbourne at $1.19 at the line. Richmond plus $28.50 Melbourne minus $28.50 at $1.90. Tigers get up for games, um, and they've been generally really good in this contest since its uh, inception. Um, what do you reckon, Spide? Am I just talking through my well, heart again? Maybe? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Uh, look, Melbourne, no, disappointing. They had the buy. Um, Oliver's been able to go in there, get a bit of uh, finger surgery, so he'll be up and about, ready to go. So, yeah, for me, I think the D's. I love the Wednesday night leading into Anzac Day. Absolutely starts our weekend off magnificently. So, yeah, look, as, as, yeah, look, Richmond, I can't, yeah, even after a week off, I, I just don't think they've actually got enough cattle at the moment to be able to sustain Melbourne. And you look at Melbourne, you know, we know that, yeah, May was, you know, yeah, just had a little bit of an injury and Lever and, and Oliver. Now, a week off, get that cherry ripe, they'll be good to go. Yeah, Melbourne for mine too. Oh, I think they'll be too good for the Tigers. We've just got too many good players out. We do get a few back, but I think we've just got too many good players out. But they might lift and they might rise um, for that end of that <laughs> Hey, talking about cracking games, this is always a beauty. Anzac Day, Essendon v Collingwood, uh, 3.20 p.m. at the MCG, full house. Been sold out for months, head-to-head, the Bombers 2.65. Collingwood $1.48. Bombers the outsiders here all the time at the moment at the line. Essendon plus $12.50, Collingwood minus $12.50, $1.90. Are the Pies back? Do we see that well, week against Port Adelaide? That was a, I'm a big, big turnaround. I'm a big believer that one hot day doesn't make a summer, but for Collingwood, absolutely, oh, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, I heard last week, mate. Yes, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, the Pies, absolutely. Look, they look fantastic. They did everything right against a great opposition. We knew the midfield battle against Port Adelaide was going to be tough, and even though they got their hands on the ball, the way Collingwood was able to control the footy and move it inside forward and, and kick a reasonable score against a great opposition. They are back. They're back to exactly what they were last year. So all the Pies supporters, and you know, how often do we say it? Yeah. Last year's premiers always start off slow. We of always jump into them and say, this is a joke. No, no, they're, they're gone. They're done and dusted. Well, they're back. And the Bombers would have liked to play them a month ago. <laughs> Not this weekend. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with the Pies. Even though yeah, the Bombers have been great. The Bombers have. have really been impressive. And I think a lot of people are now starting to – you know, wake up and think, you know what, the Bombers are more than we thought. So, yeah, as much as I say that, I still reckon, um, you know, the Pies. Pies for mine too. I reckon their pressure was up last week, and I think that's yeah. the key to the Collingwood Football Club. And they're going to love the big stage. And uh, my best bet, my Maddie's must-have, is Dave Spot. We'll come Anzac up. Day. Anzac Day, mate. Sit back and enjoy and get just, some cash. No, just two up. 
<laughs> Come in, spinner. Here we go. I uh, love it, mate. Right, uh, Giants taking on Brisbane. Uh, this is Thursday night, of course. Anzac Day, seven thirty-five for Manuka Oval. So something a little Ooh. bit different, but I like the uh, I like the idea and I love the concept here. The Giants are dollar ninety-two. Brisbane are dollar eighty-eight at the line. The Giants uh, plus zero point five dollar ninety. Brisbane minus zero point five dollar ninety. Still a little bit of play out here. Um, obviously, Toby Green, they'll challenge that at the Tribunal. Yep. Um, Jesse Hogan as well. Sorry, Jesse Hogan's the other one they're going to challenge at the Tribunal. So um, those two don't play. All of a sudden, the game's flipped on its head a fair bit, I reckon, Spot. Are you thinking the same? Oh, absolutely. But, um, you know, it is, you know, you read that. It's a night game in Canberra. Freeze. In your water, oh, in your water bottles, you'd want cups yeah. of tea. You yeah. want tea, you want coffee, you want something warm, even Brisbane, scotch. I don't Brisbane know. They won't like that, will they? Because they're used to the beautiful well, army conditions up there that you live in each and every day, Spide. Well, they, they they got a good test of it last week. It was warm, but it was wet. But, you know, for me, I still like the Giants. I reckon the Giants have got enough power. And, you know, as you say, these conditions can really play on you. Yep. Okay, you should be professional enough. But when you're running out there and it is freezing degrees and you are even getting in the bus to go to the game, a little bit of mentality, a bit of, you know, that, oh, look at this, look at this, it can pay off. So I, I think the Giants, I'm going to stick with the Giants. The Lions weren't much chopped last week um, and we were going to give them a bit of leeway. But I reckon the Giants, the Giants are in pretty good nick. Uh, I'm going Lions, mate. I reckon they'll fight back. I reckon they'll bounce back. They'll be disappointed with last week. Uh, they need to start winning some games and uh, another statement game for mine. So Lions to get the job done. Port Adelaide taking on St Kilda Friday night, 7.40 at the Adelaide Oval. Head to head the power at uh, $1.30. St Kilda $3.50 at the line. Port Adelaide minus $20.50. St Kilda plus $20.50 at $1.90. Do you give your Saints any chance here, big fella? No. Too no. many injuries, too many players out? No. Yeah, look, I, I don't, unfortunately. I'd love to, but, you know, I think Port Adelaide are still the real deal. I think, you know, when you've got a midfield of Rosie and Butters and, uh, you know, Houston goes in there and Horn Francis to see how he comes up with his injury. But, you know, realistically, the, the sons of our Jack Steele and Rowan Marshall trying to do everything, and they, they can't do it all. So they need other players to really stand up. And, you know, we've spoken about Port Adelaide at length quite a few times about, you know what, they've got enough depth in their fall line. They've recruited well defensively and their midfield's one of the best going around the young guns. They got caught out against Collingwood last week. I don't reckon they'll do it two weeks in a row. So unfortunately, yeah, the Saints just look like it's going to be another very hard task. Another, another weekend to suffer. <laughs> Mate, I'm with the power too. I think they'll be too good. And uh, they'll want to bounce back after a disappointing second half against Collingwood last weekend. Incidentally, two spy, they were talking, I was watching footy classifieds and they were saying, Caroline Wilson and that saying, there's not enough father sons coming through at St Kilda in it. Uh, it tweaked me, got me going a bit. They reckon there was a lot of females uh, in your generation coming through, Spy. But your young fella, Boston, he's uh, he's in there and he's, uh, he's a chance at some point in time, big fella. Yeah, absolutely. It's his draft year this year, so he's really looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, he's moved to Melbourne to try and have a crack at, you know, the oh. father and son. So, yeah, absolutely. And we know that you know, it's it's a difficult task. And, you know, saying there's not father and son coming through, but at the end of the day, you still got to be able to play footy. That's you right. can't play footy. You know, they're not going to just pick you up because, you know, your last name. So you still got to be able to play. Um, and he's been able to do that. So, Fingers crossed at the end of the year. Just stay fit, stay fresh, and see what happens. Love it, big fella. Hey, let's move along. North Melbourne taking on Adelaide 145 at Bloodstone Arena in Tassie. Head to head, the Kangas 465. Adelaide $1.19 at the line. North Melbourne plus 28.5, $1.90. Adelaide minus 28.5, $1.90. They usually play better down there, don't they, in Tassie? I reckon, hence why that line's, I reckon that line's a little bit light for mine. Yeah, so do I. Um, Adelaide, you know, they're not in the best running, Nick, but North Melbourne at the moment, they're, they're struggling in every facet of the game, unfortunately. And I know there's a, a lot of heat around around Clarko, but, you know, it's a totally be interesting to know the stats because when he went to Hawthorne, he walked into an A-grade team. He walked into a whole lot of superstars and in that team. Young recruits, didn't he? You know, like oh, different Well, characters. I think that was – yeah, absolutely. So, you know, he's got a little – Rough head. Yeah. Hodge, Mitchell, yeah. you, know, you can go through. There's a lot of them there. Yeah. So, and he brought in some superstars to top up at uh, certain parts of that, um, you know, triple premiership. But 
for North, even last week, I thought they'd give a little bit more. You know, Hawthorne just absolutely outran them, outclassed them. And you're going, where's this club going? And, you know, we know they're the hardest club for, you know, to get members and supporters and money. And it's a, a sad time for North Melbourne at the moment. And we know the shin bonus spirit of the 90s was fantastic. We absolutely loved it. So hopefully they can peg back. But for me, Adelaide Crows, they just need to win this. They need to start getting wins on the board. And I think they will. It doesn't matter if it's in Tasmania, in Melbourne or in Darwin. I reckon the Crows will win this. I'll salute, mate. They will absolutely get the job done. Geelong taking on Carlton Saturday, 4.35 p.m. at the MCG. Head-to-head, the Cats, $1.80. Carlton at two bucks at the line. Geelong minus $2.50. Carlton plus $2.50. Very, very tight line. Uh, Spide, I actually reckon the Blues are the better of the weekend just to double you. What? For two bucks, mate. Better of the weekend. Oh, I keep coming back. To, I don't reckon the Cats have actually taken on too much yet. I know you're going to laugh at me and go, well, they're just winning games when they should. That's all good and well. I saw them against Hawthorne. Hawthorne had them that day at the MCG on Easter Monday. Uh, and yep. I just, if... I, I just reckon Carlton are a hell of a lot of better side than uh, who, Hawthorne. Who won that game? Geelong. That's right. So yeah. they've played six. Yeah. They've haven't won six. One. Haven't lost one, mate. Haven't lost so, one. I'm so telling you're going to go to Carlton? I'm going to Carlton, mate. And I reckon they're the better of the weekend. Just double nah. your money. No. Nah. Just- you can have Walsh and Cripps and, uh, you know, I, I just think, um, you know, what Chris Scott's been able to do is unbelievable. Well, like we've we've it's always put a yeah yeah we've always put the Zimmer frame around uh, a lot of the Geelong players, and you know they're still being able to back up. You know you got Jeremy Cameron just now starting to get you know Hawkins just playing his little roles, Dangerfield, but they don't need those superstars. You've got these you know like Myers and Holmes and all these guys stepping up playing roles. So Deconi, like I sit there and go through it all, and I, and I think um you know. I don't think the three big forwards against Geelong, you know, Deconi, Akai, and Kerno down against Geelong. I just like Geelong's defensive patterns. They know what to do. They zone off. They they help each other out. They won't be able to zone got, off, though, this week when they've got quality forwards, mate. Well, it's the way it's going to go in there as well. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm sticking with Geelong. I think Geelong, they, they're on top of the ladder for a reason. Now we we have little side bets, all right. So we're gonna have a little side okay. page here because you're you're possibly coming down to spend a, a couple of days down here at the yeah. carnival next week. Um, I'll share if, if Geelong win, I'll shout you a day to marquee for your fiftieth. And uh, yeah, oh, okay. I'll make Come on you, the cats. I'll make you the unofficial mayor of Warrnambool for for the day <laughs> for twenty four hours. Yeah. Um, uh, and. On the flip side, we'll talk about something maybe up on the Gold Coast or something. We might come up and reciprocate at some point. All right, yeah. Season's over. How's that sound? Yeah, where well, you come up to the night racing up here, which starts in a couple of months. Mate, night racing, we'll go to we'll a footy or something. We'll work it yeah, out. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Be awesome. All right, mate, you're on, on because I am, I'm on the cats. Come All on, right. the cats. I will have the blue baggers for mine. Hey, uh, Fremantle take on the Western Bulldogs Saturday, 7.30 p.m. at Optus Stadium. Head-to-head, Fremantle, $1.78. Bulldogs at 204 at the line. Fremantle minus two and a half dollar ninety. Western Bulldogs plus two and a half dollar ninety. I've been strong on the Dockers all year. Been yes. in the last couple of games though for mine spy. They've lost their last three. They've uh, lost their way, haven't they? Mate, don't you tip them, fair nigga. No, it's their confidence the way they go. And confidence plays a massive role in, in a lot of teams and a lot of young teams as well. We know they've got one of the youngest lists running around. So always hard. And I think come off the back of a, a a loss to the Eagles. And the Eagles, you know, are two on a trot now. So yeah. you know, I'd be nervous still playing the Eagles because again that confidence shift if you're winning or if you're losing. But you know, the Western Bulldogs last week, they were impressive. You can't go past any part of that game from you know we've spoken about the forwards to Tommy English gets his hand on the footy, the bond. Uh, you know, they've just got every part of that game covered and I think going over to going over to Perth's not going to worry them one little bit so I'm sticking with the dogs I can't believe the dogs aren't favorite yeah I, I'm with I'm with the dogs too mate I, I reckon just they need that little bit of confidence last week and I reckon they'll want to go on with it um and uh, it's 8v9 too so this is you know, shot the eight 
I reckon the market really does. I reckon the boys at Palmer really got the market wrong here. I'm with you. Uh, Bulldogs to get the job done at a nice little price uh, at 204. Hey, Gold Coast taking on West Coast Sunday, 1 p.m. That's a people first stadium. Head to head, Gold Coast, dollar twenty one. West Coast at 440. Looking for three on the trot. Gold Coast Suns at the line, minus twenty eight and a half dollar ninety. West Coast plus twenty eight and a half a dollar ninety. Harley Reid off up the oh. and up to people. Yeah. Uh, what is it? People's first stadium. Can he? Uh, yeah. Can he turning it on, mate. Isn't he a superstar? He was fantastic on the weekend, wasn't he? It was. Yeah. You you understand now, West Coast, what they see in him, why he's been on the front page of the paper so many times, why he'll take over. From is it Basil Zempus, the Basil mayor Zempus. of? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's him. He'll take over the mayor. Baz, watch out for your job, because Harley Reid's in for it. But yeah, he was he was fantastic. But the only thing that gets here is the Suns. I reckon outside Geelong and Brisbane's lost their last three at home. Sydney, the home ground advantage is really getting an advantage here yep. with the Gold Coast Suns. They play yep. at home. Really, really well and consistently well. So I'm taking, I reckon the Eagles will have a loss here. One of the biggest flights as well coming right across the country. Um, and the Gold Coast Suns will have to rebound. And even Dimmer said that. He said a lot of our structures, a lot of our platforms were wrong. We just made so many wrong decisions. So I reckon the Suns will be back this week. Suns to get the job done uh, comfortably against West Coast. who really uh, had a crack the last couple of weeks and good on them. Yeah. Hawthorne v Sydney, Sunday, 4 p.m. at the MCG. Hawks coming off that victory against the Kangas last week. They're at 3.15. Sydney were awesome last weekend, $1.36 against the Suns. At the line, Hawthorne plus $18.50, $1.90. Sydney minus $18.50, $1.90. Hard to tip against the Swans. They play the MCG so well. Um, yeah. I reckon, mate. I don't know. i tell you right. Hawthorne, they didn't have any injuries and had their yeah, full yeah. side. Yeah. They would have a really good crack here. This would be a, this would be a cracking game because – yeah, as you said, Hawthorne's challenge is challenged Collingwood. They've challenged Geelong. They really stand up against these really good sides. And they seem to match up on some sides really well. I don't, you know, I know the line. What's the line again? Uh, plus 18 and a half, minus 18 and a half. Oh, yeah. You know, if it was around about 30, I reckon the Hawks will get within, I'd say, Sydney between 1 and 39. Right. Eh? I, don't reckon they, I don't reckon they'll smash Hawthorne out of the park. I'm with you. I reckon it'll be a lot closer than we think. I reckon at some stage, the Hawks might be up at halftime or something, maybe a little halftime uh, Hawks up, you know, Sydney to finish the game or something. Yeah. Might be a a, a nice little play. Hey, Spite, uh, give us your uh, pick nine for the weekend, mate. I'm going to key this uh, as we go too, big fella. So. Oh, yeah. You can pick, you can uh, key it in. And my pick nine is pretty easy. Yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking Melbourne against the Tigers. Yep. I'm taking the Pies should get over the Bombers. The Giants will beat the Lions. Port Adelaide against the Saints at home. The Crows against North Melbourne in Tasmania. Then go the Cats at home. The Dogs over in Perth. The Suns at home. And the Swans to finish it off at the MCG on Sunday. Mate, that is going to get us $31.87, big fella. Um, yeah. $31.87 for your pick nine. Uh, I'm just a little bit different uh, in the fact that uh, I went Melbourne Pies, I went the Lions, uh, the Power, Crows, I went the Blues, obviously, and Dog Suns and Swans, similar. I'm 34, yep. 57. So I think maybe take both ours this week. Uh, yeah. Price will be the yeah, way. Yeah, there's a couple. I think there's a couple of really good bets you can have. Um, yeah, even multi even putting us up a couple of short short price favourites in there. And as we mentioned off the top of the off the top, is a lot of them are getting over the line. You know, the average winning margin was built 40 odd points on the weekend. So I'd be having a look at um, you know, a couple of them over, you know, 39. Uh, clubs are doing it. You know, Melbourne maybe a chance, I'd say. Port Adelaide against the Saints could be absolutely a chance. Uh the Suns over the Eagles, a great chance. So there's a couple of opportunities, I think, out there for sure. Yeah, couldn't agree more. What's your best bet for the weekend, Spite? Oh, uh, look, I've got two of my multis. Uh, I just like this one. It, just a real quick dogs over Frio, Giants over Brisbane, yeah. and the Cats over the Blues. Now, I've called it we sit high on the ladder for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, dogs, Giants, Cats. I'm just going to key this one in too. Who's going to key this one? Um, 
I'll just uh, show you just as we keep going here, Spide. Just let me. Just... So, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, you can take them at the line if you want, but I just think head to head straight on. They're higher on the ladder, and that is for a reason. Very, very simple. Right, eh? That is going to simply get us 705, seven bucks. What's wrong with that? Yeah. That is absolutely. Cool. And that my is... one for the weekend, the one I love, and uh, I've got the price for you here. My top three to kick three. I love the three. I love oh, the yeah. three. Oh, absolutely. So the catch, Jeremy Cameron, he'll kick three. The Sydney Logan McDonald, he'll kick three. And GWS, uh, well, no, I went away from Jesse Hogan and I, uh, yeah, well, we don't know what's going to be the outcome. So I've, uh, I've gone into the big kingy at the Gold Coast Suns. Right, I all to keep and they'll give it. They'll give me eleven dollars sixty nine. Any which way, sixty nine. Bang. <laughs> it's usually dinner for two, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever way you want to call it, eleven dollars sixty nine is good for me. I uh, love it, mate. I'm going to go back to Anzac Day. Um, okay. Um, so Thursday, I love me Anzac Day footy. It is sensational to watch. It I'm is. Great. Pies to win one to thirty nine, and yep. I, I'm, I'm just going to back the Dacos boys in here to both kick goals. So Josh and Nick, yeah. And then I'm going to go Josh to get twenty plus possessions, and Nick to get twenty five plus possessions, uh, and that is going to get you fifty okay. forty eight. So I'm just tipping. That's that good. The Dacos boys can have a bit of a day out. They'll slot a goal each. I can see them celebrating together. I can see them both getting one getting 20 plus, the other getting 25, and the Pies winning by uh, you know, six and a bit goals underneath that. So that's and, the way I'm going. And they'll be so excited that their old man's back from I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. He's back from the jungle. Is yes. So out of Nick and Josh then, who wins the Anzac Day medal? Nick will get the job done, mate. He'll get the job done, the little master. He'll have 34 or something, and uh, it'll be hard. 34, I might probably kick two goals, to be honest. Uh, little yeah. Bit. I reckon he's going to come back and uh, haunt him again. I reckon Bobby Hill. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby's uh, I, I, actually Bobby's like two dollars oh five to kick uh, a couple of goals. Like I, I, he's 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 had a good start of the season for mine. And, oh, uh, MCG, big, big crowd. Big stage. He was there six months ago, turning it on. I reckon it's time to do it again. Hey, listen, mate. Have a wonderful weekend. Gamble responsibly. That is the key message. Always think about what you're really gambling with. Download that Palmer Bet app. Get involved. Have some fun. And I know they got some really exciting news coming in the next week. Absolutely. Or two which is going to be really exciting. And uh, you're going to have a whole lot of fun. And we're going to have a whole lot of fun with it as well, Spied. Uh, it's a great but, idea. It's a great it, idea. It is a great idea. We can't say too much more, but it is going to be <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And uh, Spide, I look forward to hopefully we might be doing the show together. Uh, in the Absolutely. Next week. Yep. We, uh, next week. Well, depending how we go against, uh, you know, the Cats and Carlton, we'll wait and see what happens and how that totally unfolds. But I'll tell you, there'll be some text messages getting thrown around the park during that game. Love it, big fella. You have a wonderful weekend, mate. And uh, looking forward to uh, the, the week of Spider next week, celebrating 50 years old. Yeah, I oh, know. Yeah. Oh, half a century, huh? You little ripper. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Yes. Cheers. Week, Cheers. Enjoy your weekend on the, on the punk. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.